Hi guys, Tom here from Tom Vapes. Um, I've got Totally Wicked's newest product to review today, the Electron S. And as you can see, it comes in this huge box. Um, <clears throat> I must point out that I received this free of charge for purpose of review, but I will keep my opinion on this product as honest as I can. So, um, as you can see, it comes in this huge box. Lovely packaging, again, as usual, by them. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to close-up cam and I will open the box up and show you everything that comes with it. So, here's the box. As you can see, I'm struggling to even fit the box in the camera. But well, this is what's inside. I open it up. And you've got some extra instructions, user manual. Instructions are pretty uh, well informative, really. They um, explain it all pretty well. It's quite a simple device to use as well. Um, this uh, does also come in black. I've got the silver one here to to review it looks lovely it is a bit of a fingerprint fingerprint magnet but it is a uh, it's a very it's a very nice looking device but that's one side I'll show you what else is in the box and yeah take that out <coughs> you've got a little bag here I'll explain what's in that bag in a moment you get two atomizer heads this uses the atomi uh, totally wicked's atomizer head system uh, which I've explained in another video I think for the Ego Twist uh, if you want to watch that now the head system I love it because it's brilliant for the flavour it's probably one of my favourite for the flavour you get one battery which is a 16650 battery uh, 2100 million power battery um, you get a USB cable because this device can be charged as, uh, as a pass through so you can use it at the same time as it's charging so it's standard uh, USB charger for these sorts of devices it's, a, it's a, a mini USB so some phones use it, cameras so on so that. and you also for this device you also get a multi charger for, and it will charge 18650 batteries, 18350, 16650 and 14500 batteries and this is it here so I'll just grab a battery one of my other from another device and how it works the positive is at the top and that's your negative so your negative just goes in there and it will just fit in and you plug the USB there and then you can either charge it through your computer or the other end of the USB will go into a plug socket and then into your wall and it's even got two nice stands here so it'll sit flat like that I think that's a brilliant idea so if you've got two batteries you can have a full battery in here using it and one charging in the wall if you don't you can just plug it in and charge it and it's a pass through so you can use it at the same time as you're charging if you're not too bothered but I think that's a brilliant idea to get two two ways of charging it I think it's excellent so in this little bag you've got two of the little mouthpiece covers so if a friend can try it if you and you don't really know where they've been or you just don't really want their saliva in your mouth and you get these little black things here which you can just see on camera and what they are this is where you charge it as you pass through here and this little rubber is just your cover so you don't get any dust or any bits of anything in there and some devices like an EVIC have I got an EVIC somewhere? just a second here we go EVIC, same similar thing 
but this uses like an old style thing that you see on old mobile phones I'll just put that to the side there if you can see it just pops out there and it's held on by a little piece of plastic and they eventually do snap this mine hasn't yet but it, I know it's going to happen at some point and then that's it dust, fluff, everything will get in my charging point sometimes like it has now it gets stuck out and you can't yeah, and it's hard to get it back in um, <clears throat> so having these little like, these little rubber things that come out and if you lose it you've got an extra three I think that's a brilliant idea hopefully some other companies will start putting that on so let's uh, take this apart and I'll show you how it uh, how it all works so you've got your tank this top bit here, which I think looks fantastic. Uh, 510 drip tip that does come out and is stuck in there really well with it's not an o-ring, it's some other sort of flat type rubber, which I think is brilliant. It seals so well. Let's try it with one of my drip tips. Take this one off a of, off of pro tank. It's a little bit loose. It does stick in there. I don't think you'd lose that. We've got this one here off a K100. Ah, that fits in there nicely. That's really in there. That doesn't look too bad either. So I, th I think most. Yeah, that's stuck in there. I think most 510. Drip tips would fit in there if you want to use your own. I'll take the tank apart and show it in a bit more detail in a moment. And you've got this section here, which, which is your control head. This is a variable voltage and variable wattage device, which I'll show in a bit more detail in a moment. And that's how you change it with this little ring here. All these pieces you can buy separately, so if you ever broke this, or you just wanted the tank, um, you can you can buy it all separately. <clears throat> There's your battery that comes with it, and then that last bit there is just, I'm a bit off camera here, sorry guys, just a battery tube. And your battery goes in from the bottom, there's a little stopper thing in there so let's put it back together and I'll show you all the features of it if I can screw it back together there we go that's that control head the threads on it are, are brilliant as well, they're nice and smooth and everything. <clears throat> Apart from having a little trouble getting this back on for some reason. Not lining it up properly. Maybe it'd help if the battery wasn't in. That would make a bit more sense. Oh! So have we found the first problem? No, we haven't found any problem, it's just me being useless. There we go, that in there. Bottom on. Sorry, keep going off camera. That's that bit on. And then let's put the tank back on. <clears throat> so, that's it, all back together. That's feel that tank screws on there, those threads on that feel amazing. So, alright that's it together. Let's compare it to a totally wicked uh, tornado. Oh, what's happened? There we go. Right. So they're about the same length, same width. 
the Electron S is much heavier. Feels much more substantial and weighty. But evenly weighty, it's not at the battery end or at the top end, it feels solid and heavy all the way along. So let's show you the features. So to turn it on, it's five clicks of the button. See it flash? And that light at the top there, that you've got four lights down here. The one is variable voltage, second one's variable wattage, third one is recorded variable voltage, and the last one is recorded variable wattage. Now you can plug this into your computer um, and set these recorded things. Uh, check them, you, and you, you can do it on here somehow, I haven't quite figured out how to do it yet so maybe I'll do another video um, yeah, you also forgot to mention because I haven't got it here um, you get a little sort of screwdriver thing and if you see this here, there's a little screw in there. Well, you can just do it with your fingernail, actually. You can adjust the airflow of the tank very well. You can tailor it perfectly. You can have it. You can actually shut it completely off so it's completely tight. You can't suck through it. And you can have it open so it's like breathing through a hose pipe. It works fantastically. Um. I've gone a bit off track there, I was talking about the variable voltage. So on this black bit here, this ring, I don't know if you can see quite right. You can turn it, you've got a little dot here, a little marker, and you can go from 3.3 volts right round to 5 volts. Or if you want it in wattage mode, what you do is turn it off, hold it down, till that lights come on, about 10 seconds, and it goes to there. Variable wattage. So now when I turn it on, five clicks, it's in variable wattage, and it will go from 4.5 watts all the way to 10 watts. So I quite like watts. So what I'm going to do is it's on. 4.5 I'm going to turn it to that's 5 six. I'm going to turn it to 6 watts I'm going to go to normal cam mode and I'll give it a vape in a few ah, I haven't even shown you the tank sorry about this guys I'm a bit off today let's have a look let's show the tank and then we'll do that so your tank shown drip tip comes off in there nice and tight this section here comes off and this is where you fill it up from. Mine's already full, but you've got your centre hole where your, uh, where your vape comes out, your vapour. And at the side, if you can just see, there and on that side, there's two little holes that are the perfect size for your juice bottles. And you put it in one and fill it up and the other hole is so the air can come back out so there's no vacuum and it doesn't end up flooding and it comes out the bottom so and it works it works brilliantly um, so that's that bit now at the bottom as I said this works with Totally Wiki's new atomizer heads that don't just sit in place like uh, you, like the other ones did uh, this clips in it's like a bayonet type thing like you'd see on a, on a on a light bulb um, rubbers here in the bottom there and there and they seal perfectly now if you just twist this it just comes out and if you can see there it's got like some grooves and in, in the bottom connection here you've got um, two little protruding bumps on either side and it just fits in twist and you feel it lock and it don't come out and then in and those rubbers just 
seal feel so tight against the atomizer head. So that's the tank. I've got this filled up with some totally wicked sex on the beach flavour. Now I've had a sex on the beach cocktail a few times and it's uh, pretty close tasting I'd say. It's not far off. Uh, it's very fruity. Obviously no alcohol in it obviously. Um, right so I've got to normal camels guys here. So that was a close up bit. Um, before I show it vapes, um, obviously I mentioned that I received this free of charge for review, but this is um, £99 and um, and it comes in black or silver. Um, now, for a beginner, that sounds like a hefty chunk of money, but I think you're getting a fair bit for your money there. This is probably one of the easiest variable voltage and wattage, de and wattage devices you can get. The flavour off the atomizer heads is excellent. Battery life is good. I didn't point out before, um, when you light it up, it does like a pulsing flashing when it when it's going dead and it gets faster when the battery's nearly worn out um, and ready for charging. Um, getting the two types of chargers for £99 on the phone's ringing is uh, yeah getting the two chargers is brilliant um, all round I think it's a brilliant device um, definitely contemplate, contemplating actually purchasing one um, as I did receive this for review from my local Totally Wiki store, which is in Wakefield, West Yorkshire. Um, brilliant guys down there, very helpful. So, if you're in the, if you live in the Wakefield area or even in West Yorkshire, try and pop down. Um, they're always happy to give advice and so on. So that's enough gibbering. Uh, let's give it a vape, and I'll show you how it works. So as you can see, vapor production is excellent on it. Flavor is brilliant as well. That was set at um, six watts. Um, so we'll turn it up. Let's try. Let's try it on seven watts, which is four volts if you've got it in voltage mode. Um, yeah, so let's try it at that. Flavour didn't come through as much on that one, which is to be expected the higher you turn it up. Uh, I'll give it one more vape on the lowest. Which is there, uh, four point five volt eight watts. Sorry, um, okay, it performs brilliantly. Uh, the flavour is excellent on atomized heads, um, which shocks me for such a small little thing. Totally wicked atomized heads. Are, I find at the minute is one of my favourite vapes on at their atomizer heads. So let's try it on the lowest wattage. So as you can see, not as much vapor as expected, but flavor was there. Uh, all the all the different fruits in the in the it's a fruit cocktail. It, all the flavors came through nicely um, 
so I ain't got a bad thing to say about this at all. Um, I would like to possibly do a review on the black one because I think the black one looks amazing. Obviously, it's the opposite way around to this. So this is all black, apart from the drip tip silver, uh, that bit silver, and the button. The button? I can't remember if the button's silver on it. I think it might be. Um, so a really lovely looking device. Nice and weighty, substantial, but not too thick. When you think possibly, let's have a look at a KTS. I should really know the dimensions, but I'm guessing it's about 18 mil. Yeah, about 18 mil. Love the airflow control. Can tailor it perfectly to our area you want it. Um, so that's the Electron S. Um, I think this is probably going to be the first review on this. I don't even think Totally Wicked have got a video of it, apart from their little promotional video. It's about 30 seconds long. Um, so this is probably going to be the first review as this came out on Monday. No, I don't think it did. It came out last week, last Friday. So it's been out a week. Um, so this is probably the first review. So if I haven't explained anything in detail or you just want some more information, just comment and I'll and I'll answer it. Uh, if I get enough com comments, people wanting to see the tank maybe in more detail, how to fill it up, which I didn't do because I'd already filled it. Um, just comment and I'll I'll um, I'll try and do another little video of it for you. Um, so, Electron S, if you like this video and listen to me drivel on, subscribe to my page or just watch my other videos. So, thanks for watching, guys. Right, sorry, forgot to mention there. Um, I've got some really um, interesting videos coming up, hopefully, I've got quite a bit of vape mail on the way. Um, <coughs> I've got my first drippers, so obviously, that's vaping. For beginners because it'll be, uh, be new to me so I'll be hopefully learning some stuff and trying to pass it on the information on straight away as soon as I've done it. I've got some got another couple of rebuildable tanks. One really interesting tank that turns a G uh, no it doesn't turn a GG it turns a Chi U into a hybrid. We've got Chi U coming um, and a few other bits and pieces some kicks um, some batteries little bits like that so keep a look out for those videos guys if you're interested and you've liked my other videos so please subscribe